Hello, we're working on a Saturn view, a 2004 I do believe, and uh, my friend got in a wreck and rearranged the front of the car. I replaced the metal on it and put the fender back on, getting ready to put it together. And we put a new uh, air conditioning uh, pump on it and my nephew How's it going? <laughs> and I we had to go to O'Reilly's Auto Parts and there they have a tool uh, we rented this for $34.84 but it can you show them is a has a 3 8 drive on the end and it's just a flat bar and it's about what two foot long maybe yeah at least the length of your arm and uh so what we had to do is we, since we have the front end of the car off we went through the front here and uh, you may have to cut this bar in half because it's so long. Just chop it with the saw and then slide this off. And yeah. And then you'll be able to put it, put it on there and not be, you know, cutting up your hands. There you go. Because you may have the front of your car put on, but <laughs> since we don't. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Which then you will not be able to take the tool back, so. Yeah, so you'll have to buy it then. We had a rent. We rented the tool. And uh, once you re use it, you return it, they refund you your money, every bit of it. So you're basically using it for free. <laughs> but uh, Or you have the option to buy the tool. You can just flat out buy it if you want. Um, so then what you do, the tensioner pulley is there and it's on a, a bracket and then but inside that bracket is a square hole for the end of your uh, the tool to go into and I have a flashlight here um, and he has one on his phone he's using also make sure mine's on but it's just right down there he's about oh here it is if you can see that right in there I'll let him do it so he can see what he's doing but that's where it goes into and then um, i'm kind of wedging against the core support right now you can probably take your hand push it in there yeah slide your hand inside and kind of push it in like that so now it's inside that bracket and then all you do is just use leverage and then pull up he's lifting on it and what it's doing is taking that pulley and taking the tension off of the belt we already have the belt on there um we didn't want to take it off again and go through the whole process but you just lift it up plop your belt on take the tension off the the pulley and then you'll be done so that's all you do pretty simple actually and to get it off, just reverse, have your hand back here, push it off, it makes a horrible sound. <laughs> and then you're done. And you're done. Then you return the tool, get your money back. Unless you cut it up and then you keep it for next time. Exactly. <laughs>